It is another Money Monday here on The Morning Blend, and we have a question. Is your long-term financial plan complete? Well, our next guest says there is a lot more comprehensive financial plan than just asset allocation and stocks and bonds. There's, so, there's so much to it. Welcome back to the show, Jeff Vogan from Premier Retirement Planning and Wealth. And it's great to have you here again on the show today. There are so many specifics that we all need to pay attention to. You talked about the five pillars um, one time before, but real estate planning or estate planning rather, one of the primary elements when it comes to making plans for the future. And now that we're at the end of the year, nearing the end of the year, is that something that people start thinking about more? What do you hear from your clients? You know, it is interesting that at the end of the year is when people start coming up with the estate planning questions. Basically, the state, we also call that the legacy pillar. You know, what are you gonna leave behind? How are you gonna leave it? The least amount of tax, trouble, hassle, getting out of probate, trying to make sure that your loved ones um, can take over your stuff with, that, with yeah. the least amount of trouble. Um, and because the holidays are coming up, I think that's probably why people are starting to think more family oriented. oriented. Right. You know, they get together for you know Christmas, you know Hanukkah, Thanksgiving, all the different holidays that bring our families together. Uh, make us start thinking about, you know, am I okay? Is my are my things, are my assets going to be uh, right. taken care of? Are they going to stay in the family? Are my and grandchildren so going to be okay? Right. Mm -hmm. And what can I do to to leave? And legacy is more. And, and I want to uh, mention that I think legacy is more than just what to do with your money. A legacy is the mark you leave on the world, and it could have something to do far more than money. It could have to do with just spending time with your family and just, uh, you know, uh, maybe uh, gifts uh, you can leave to charities. It could be um, volunteering. It could be what you do in those mm -hmm. last years of your life that you want to leave that mark. Uh, not, not to mention, obviously, the financial end of it. Sure, and you know, there's a lot of words that get thrown around sometimes, wills and trusts, and people can maybe get those jumbled in their head. There's a difference though, right? A big difference yeah. between wills and trusts, and that's probably one of the things that uh, is kind of a paradigm shift for many people. They've heard over the years that a will is all you need to get you uh, through the probate process. Um, not true. A will is actually a probate document, and probate means to prove in court, means mm -hmm. your stuff gets to go through court and get scrutinized by the court system just to make sure it gets oh. to the right place. Well, why do you need that? If you know your kids are going to be the ones getting it, why can't you just leave them in charge? And you can, and that's why people use methods like trusts or mm -hmm. just direct beneficiary designations on assets is another way to do that. When is the best time to start doing estate planning? Well, uh, if you don't have your death date already in your head or on a death certificate already, it, now's a good time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's never too late. I think too many people who are young don't realize that having something in place, uh, whether they have children or not, they probably <coughs> still have assets and they probably still should have a plan for that. It'll also, it, the earlier the better for everything. I mean, it's better late than never. I mean, showing up is 90% of it. Sure. When you show up, you know, may or may not have a bearing on that. But uh, you can never start too early. And uh, it, even if it has to be tweaked or, or changed you know, over the years, it's okay. It's a, it's a fluid document, it's dynamic, it can change. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be, oh my gosh, these are my final wishes and how can I f possibly know what my final wishes right. are if I'm Not 30 or 40? Mm -hmm. Well, you can, I'm encouraging my children. In fact, you know, for, for Christmas, I, since we're estate planners, uh, we do trust and, and uh, you know, we're setting up trust for our children for Christmas this year because I've been encouraging them to get it forever. Sure. Now that they're adults, mm -hmm. they need a trust. And there's a whole lot to learn. I mean, more than we can talk about in these few minutes, but you hold educational classes for people to actually go in and engage with this material and get to know it a little better. We do, we do. We have them at libraries, we have them at uh, college classes, we ha our college uh, um, campuses. Mm -hmm. uh, we have sometimes seminars uh, at other locations where we go over the five pillars and we do focus uh, sometimes more on on the estate planning aspect uh, than others. Right, well again, a whole lot to know about this. It's mm -hmm. good to have an expert who does this every single day and knows everything uh, all the way through. So as always, Jeff Vogan, thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. And if you're interested in scheduling a complimentary retirement financial review to make sure that your ideal retirement plan is secure, visit primret.com or call 520-780-9059.